good morning students now moving towards part 2 of unit 6 at over here this uh, this photograph shows how andy created an artwork in this two photographs see you can see the two photograph of andy's uh, created an artwork and talk to your partner you have to discuss with your partner and write that andy might have done to what might have done to get the impression on the land why do you think andy created this work see in this what they have asked us why he has created such uh, work see the natural object around us that we can use to create an artwork uh, are like sand clay stones leaves twigs flowers mud ice pebbles and also the pieces of small rocks water stone thorns pine cone vegetable etc are being used in this and that is all see in this uh, you can see the sketch also of the artwork that has been done and we can distinguish both the uh, both the pictures and both the photograph that has been taken by andy and that is created also by andy such of the artwork that can imagine to your create and how you can create the work so this was about this see when this uh, andy must have lain down on the earth see it is uh, that uh, in this what i have asked you how andy created an artwork see andy he created an artwork uh, and andy must have lain down on the earth and would have allowed leaves sand twigs and whatever he got in the surrounding in a large quantity and then the area that is covered on the earth by his body and he did not get covered with the things that is fallen so that the area he had a clear impression of his body see andy is an environment uh, environmentalist see we have discussed earlier about it and he does not use that man made tools to create artwork so therefore he used all the natural objects and left the impression and after taking the photographs he left the impression to get decayed on its own so it can be used as a manual and he does not want to also harm the environment and exploit it so this was about this photograph and now when we talk about the art uh, they have said over your art is a medium of expression see art is one form through which you can express your ideas your feelings and an artist who is an artist they can express their views thoughts philosophies everything how through the different medium the what they use uh, and here is a test for you uh, guess what it is therefore uh, there is one medium of expression see there is one medium of expression they have shown given over here in this and um, that express the view and the thought of all the common people who are there and it looks very simple but it is not also simple it has uh, caricatures of people animals and object it can also be a satire we form it almost every day in the newspaper generally it is a sketch with a few words which art is it see puzzle they have asked you see that we use this as a um, uh, it can be used it can we can it can also be a satire also and it can be a caricatures of people animals or object and generally we find this type of sketch every day in the newspaper what it might be do you uh, see what they are asking do you need any type of a hint it's a cartoon c a r t double o and cartoon so and what do you think see they have given hint over here that we see the program here is tom and jerry it's a cartoon chota beam etc they all are cartoon characters chota beam uh, to, uh, tom and jerry we used to uh, we see this cartoon so this word is a cartoon now they have given look at the works by famous indian cartoonist see uh, we have to now talk about the cartoonist he is a very famous one r k lakshman and identify what is common in them see here is a work of r k lakshman and we have to identify what is a common in them see it is safer to sleep in the middle of the road then on a pavement these days the second one of course i have a car 
but I don't have a road to drive it on. You said it. See this. Uh, this is said. See in what we say over here. In cartoon one, in the cartoon what we observe in the first cartoon, we can see a boy lying or a man who is lying on the road and policeman is over there. See, it is shown that the man is lying in the middle of the road. And when inquired, he said it is safer. What did he say? It is safer to sleep in the middle of the road than on the pavement. Why? Because the condition of the road is worst. And it is all bumpy with so many potholes are there on the road. And it is nearly impossible to drive along the road. And see, when on the other hand, we talk about the pavements as being mostly unused in regular course, are in good condition, people make more use of them. Therefore, it is better to sleep on the road than on the pavement. So that was the description of the uh, cartoon one. And when we talk about cartoon two, uh, in that uh, it points to serve severe traffic that has been arising the problem in the city and the cartoonists say that uh, he has a car but he cannot take it along the city roads. Why? Because of the traffic and the reason is the traffic problem. The roads of the city keep so busy that it is useless at all to take a car to reach one destination. It takes long hours. It will consume a lot of time and fuel also. So the cartoonist says that he has a car but no road. See this was the explanation of these two figures which they have shown over here. These two pictures, picture 1 and picture 2. And now so see moving ahead. So what is common in both the cartoons that we have discussed? What is a com common in both the cartoon? Yes. A man is striped co coat. See here you can see a man in a striped coat. Is it a representation of the common man of land? That is a common uh, in the most of R.K. Lakshman. See uh, what they have said over here. There is a man. We can see a man uh, who is... Uh, he is in a striped, see you can see he is wearing a striped coat and the most of R.K. Lakshman cartoon. And uh, see in this uh, uh, Rasi Puram Krishna Swami Ayar Lakshman is the best, he is the best well known uh, for his creation of the common man for his daily, daily cartoon strip. Uh, you said it and that you said it that we have uh, discussed earlier uh, which started in 1951 in a famous english newspaper of india this is the uh, in the newspaper which you said it and for over a half of a century the common man the common man has represented the hopes also his hopes his aspirations uh, troubles and an average indian but he did not start with a common man. See where he didn't start with a common man. Lakshman notes in his autobiography, The Tunnel of Time. See in the autobiography written by Lakshman, that is a tunnel of time. He said, I drew objects that caught my eyes. See what he did drew? The objects which caught his eyes outside the window of my room. When he's sitting his window and outside the what he could see, he has caught it and he painted and the dry twigs, leaves and lizard like creatures calling, crawling about the servant chopping, firewood and of course a number of crow, crows in various postures on the rooftops of the building opposite. So this was about the R.K. Lakshman when what he has written in the autobiography that is a tunnel of time we discussed it. Now they have Asked us the question, what does the man in stripe coat represent? See, what it is represent? It represents a common man of India who is holding a stick and walking on dhoti, on spectacles. We can find it's a very common man. And what is the name of the cartoon strip? See, the name we have already said. It is, what is the name? You said it. The strip of this cartoon uh, is... Uh, cartoon strip is 
you said it and uh, now when we say that we have repeated the words common so many times in last two activities let's have some fun with it now see we have discussed about the word common it has been come across in both the activities so let's have fun with it now read the following sentence aloud so let us read the sentence where you can see find the word common common man does common things and is common to all his cartoons see everywhere common words is used is this sorry if this is uncommon what is common to all commons and let's read some more tongue twister see all these are tongue twister with some other words read them as fast as much as you can see let us try to read it as fast as we can ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream the big bug bit the little bitle but the little bitle bit the big bug back if you want to buy buy it if you don't want to buy bye bye so this all are some types of uh, tongue twister which is being said uh, very quickly and they have asked to create some tongue twister yourself also and challenge your friend to read it out as fast as he can or she can so let me read a few to you uh, peter uh, peter paper picked a paper a pack of pickled peppers see a proper copper coffee pot around the rug rocks the rag rascal ran long leg ladies last longer swam uh, swam swam over the pond swim swam swim swam swam back again well swung swam see all these are trying to understand how fast you can read it i hope you enjoyed in this activity that is about the tongue twister and now let's talk uh, let's take first step towards becoming a cartoonist look at the below given ca uh caricatures carefully and identify see we need to identify all this caricatures uh okay let us see first one anyone guess that is hi yes amitabh bachchan the second one mahendra singh dhoni yes and the third one dr apj abdul kalam yes you can identify it on your own see so you must have seen these people on the tv or in newspaper uh in the caricatures and they look very funny yes as you can see in the picture itself it's look it looks funny what makes them funny in the caricatures and what do you think the artist of this caricatures have done to give them a funny look see what they have asked over here see to give caricatures funny look artists highlight their identical physical features some kind of and for example when we talk about cartoon one amitabh bachchan can be well identified by his french cut beard and that is highlighted so we can soon identify him and in the cartoon one that is dhoni's outside teeth nose and ears are highlighted so we can identify clearly and in the third we can see dr apj abdul kalam identical hair he has a identical hair style that has been highlighted so that we can well identify that picture also so generally the artist make the features to be highlighted bigger and outstanding so you can see they have been uh, highlighted very bigger one while the other compared to other parts of the body and that they are very small and insignificant also and so you this was one type of a fun activity uh, identify such type of caricatures uh, be, uh, of made uh, of all the pictures that are made in a cartoon is becoming uh, becoming a cartoonist so i hope you all have understood this uh, unit 6 properly thank you for listening